Hey guys, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing this Wonder Woman Pop Art Halloween look. This is my second Halloween video for you guys. I also have a butterfly tutorial that I will link up above for you. Halloween, it's about to get spooky in here. It is about to get spooky, like 31 days of Halloween, 31 nights of Halloween. And I think there's like a full moon on Halloween this year for 2020. That could be like the only good thing about 2020 right now. So make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up for me. You're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any more of my Halloween looks. Turn on your notification bells and let's hop right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be doing my brows a little bit darker than normal just because I wanna go for that comic book effect. I'm using my Goof Proof pencil and a little bit darker than I would normally go. I'm gonna clean that up now with my Urban Decay Pure White Concealer and my Sigma F75 brush. Also, thank you to my friend Bobby DeShulo for requesting this look. Using our first shadow of the day, I'm gonna be dipping into Butterscotch from my Too Faced Gingerbread palette, using my Sigma E40 and applying this where my transition shade would go, right above my crease. Now guys, just to give myself a general outline of where I want my cut crease to go, I'm using a Q-tip and some remover. If you just wanted to cut it with concealer, you absolutely could. For a general outline guys, I'm just going to be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and then I'm going to be going over top of that with a thicker line using my Mayron Face Paint and my Mark Reed Signature 2 brush. Moving on to the lid, guys, the first step is to take my Morphe JH41 using my Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge palette and dip into the shade Starfire. My next step, guys, is to just take my Stila pigment in the shade Pixie and apply that from my inner corner to the middle of my lid. And again, guys, I'm just switching back and forth between my Kat Von D and my Mayron paint. You can absolutely use liner for this step if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna be making a big fat wing and not connecting that to the initial cut crease that we have. So this next step, guys, is definitely the trickiest out of the eye look. We're gonna be extending that liner down into our inner corner almost kind of creating a larger eyeball because we're going to be using a white liner as well. I am using my Suva Beauty and just a white Douglas pencil. And to create this illusion, we're also going to be taking that black liner or a powder and just kind of sharpening that, making it look like it's an actual extension underneath the white. Finally, moving on to the face, guys, I am prepping today using my Professionals by Benefit, applying my foundation with my Sigma F80, and I'm using my Huda Beauty in the shade Cheesecake. Just smoothing that out a little more, guys, before I go in with my concealer, and I'm using my NARS concealer today in the shade Medium Custard, applying that with my Beauty Blender. Immediately setting my under eyes, guys, with my Huda Beauty Translucent Powder and the rest of my face using my Dior Setting Powder in Light Beige. Now, guys, I'm just dusting off that excess product using my Sigma F79. Using my MAC Sculpt and Shape, guys, and my JH02 brush, I'm going to go super light with my contour and bronzer today. And for blush, I'm using Pink Spoon and my Sigma F15. Girl, it's about to get real up in here. So using that same face paint brush and our Mayron Black face paint, we're going to be creating our line work now. Don't be too worried about the top because we're going to actually just remove that entire top half and create a new fresh base using our Pure White Concealer by Urban Decay that we used earlier for our eyes. Now sharp line work, guys, is really tricky, so don't be discouraged if you're having a hard time. Just relax, you got this. 
Using a combination of my finger and my JH41 brush, I'm applying Starfire again for my Urban Decay palette all over my forehead. Using a small detailed brush, some Q-tips, and a little bit of foundation, guys, I am just sharpening up that lower line work. Working now on the line work for my jawline and my cheekbones, you want to be really careful with this step because you already do have your base on and you want to follow the natural curves of your face the best you can. So guys, I am not going to lie, the lips are definitely the hardest part of this look, I think, so really take your time with them. I'm making them really over-exaggerated, really over-lined, just big pouty comic book lips. Uh, you don't have to do this. You can follow more of the natural curve of your lip if you wanted to, but I'm just using a liquid lipstick by Sephora, overlining, way overlining with my Mehron face paint and cleaning that up with Q-tips. For my white detail, guys, I'm going to be using on my lips my Jeffree Star Drug Lord lipstick, but for the rest of my face, I'm using my Suva Beauty in the shade Space Panda, and I'm just adding these pretty randomly to make more of a comic book effect. Wherever I want highlighted, you can add yours wherever you want. I'm also just going to be adding some detail around my chin area. Now for the star guys, I am going to be using Suva liner and freehanding this, but I would definitely suggest if you could get a stencil or a sticker, it's just going to make your life so much easier. So for this look guys, I'm adding a ton of highlighter. So, so pretty. I think it makes a huge difference in this look. I'm just going to throw on some lashes off camera guys. I'll see y'all in a hot minute. Alrighty guys, so I am back. I feel so awkward doing the voiceover for you guys because it's like I'm not talking to you, you know? Like, you know how when you're away from your friend or your mans for like a week and you have so much tea or so much stuff in your head to say and you hope that you don't forget it? That was me this whole time talking to you guys in my head. But let me know if you guys like it. I am not going to spray my face today just because I am using a water-based face paint as my line work, but if you guys used eyeliner, if you're using a grease-based face paint, go ahead and spray your face. It's going to last a lot longer. Uh, luckily, I am not going out tonight, so <laughs> I am so excited for the rest of my Halloween looks that I have planned for you guys. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of them. So, so, so excited. Halloween and Christmas time and fall time and winter are my favorite times of the year. It is my favorite time of the year. So yeah, just subscribe to my channel, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Turn on those notification bells and I cannot wait to hang out with you guys next week. Bye.